Well, hello everybody, it's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. Well, I wanna ask, first of all, if you might be able to help me with something that's really very important. When the Catholic Guy ministry began, when I felt in my heart, and I felt that God convicted me of this whole idea of how do we reach people who are committed in their faith and help them grow deeper? And how do we reach people who maybe don't go to church, our loved ones, maybe people who are not so sure about God, help them to connect with God and then to grow deeper in their relationship with God? People around me locally began to say, can I come and be part of that? And some years ago, we started meeting every Sunday, every week, a group of us uh, to pray for this work and to put our effort into being able to reach more people. Well, people from other cities, other countries would ask me, can I be part of that? And it wasn't possible, but it is now. And it is now through Impactors Online. Impactors Online is a faith community of people that we're all the one community of people in many places around the world. And you can participate in, this, in our services and our time of prayer and teaching through Impactors Online, where you go, to our, you, you go online, you choose a time in your time zone around the world, and there are people who will greet you, welcome you, pray for you, uh, and be there with you so that you don't have to turn up to a faith gathering and no one ever says hello to you. Well, I need some help. We have hosts, they're the people who say hello and hosts partner with me, help me share Christ with people. And I'm wanting to know whether you would consider being a host in your part of the world. We have, we have great need in Canada and the United States for hosts. We have great need in many other countries around the world. If you're someone who would like to know more about being a host, not committing to being a host, but just know more about what it is to be a host, visit our website and fill out the form. And our host management team will contact you and they'll talk to you about what it is. And maybe you can join me in touching the lives of many people. Maybe God wants you to be a host and to be able to greet people into the faith family of God. In, in a way that's simple, that's easy, but it's powerful. So if you think to yourself, I'd, I'd really like to do that, go to our website, or I'd like at least to know more about it, fill out the form, and then our team will get in touch with you, and it will be amazing what God is doing, because it is growing and going so well that we need more hosts. Well, we are in this series, Living by Faith, Living by Faith, and it's a very powerful series. And it will be a very powerful series. In, in, in Romans chapter 1, verse 17, it says this, The one who is righteous will live by faith. The one who is righteous will live by faith. What do we mean by that? The one who's righteous, the one who's in right standing, will live by faith. The one who's in right standing with God, what's characteristic of them is they live in faith. And what is it to live in faith? To live in faith says, I trust and I believe in the goodness and the wonder of God. That no matter the circumstances I'm in, no matter what I'm going through, no matter where I'm going, that God will look after me. So if I'm in good times, God is with me and looking after me. If I'm facing challenges and sad times and heartbreaking times, God will look after me. It, it is not trusting in, in myself, it is trusting in God and his promises. Well, yesterday I said something back to front. And, and uh, I want to give you just an example of how God is with us. Is Yesterday I talked about the meetings that are about to be held in Tulsa. And uh, I've been asking people for a long time and a huge number of people in countries all over the world are praying for these meetings so that we can reach more people and share and, and encourage people in their faith. And I go to all the trouble, our team goes to all the trouble to set it up. We've got people helping us, etc. And then just at the last moment, after going to great effort, all of the meetings get pushed back. Yesterday I said brought forward. What I meant was pushed back. All of a sudden, rather than being now, they're in a couple of weeks' time. And I remember thinking to myself, but Lord, we're ready now. Why would you push these back? And then it occurred to me, but the righteous live by faith. The righteous live believing in the goodness of God that he will look after it. And so I can only live in the sense of 
the disappointment of all the effort we've gone to to be ready now, where God is saying, no, I've pushed it back. I'm, you know, this will give a bit more time for you to pray. This will give a bit more time for you to trust me. This will give a bit more time for you to have confidence in my plan. This will give you a bit more time to believe in my goodness. And along the way, I'll set things up that'll make it better than you and I could ever, ever have dreamed. And it will give us the chance to pray. Well, in the book of James, in the book of James chapter, uh, chapter 5, verse 16, it says this, The prayer of the righteous is powerful and effective. The prayer of the righteous. If the righteous live by faith, well, the prayer of the righteous is powerful and effective. So if we are, as Christian people, trying to live effectively in God, live in God uh, in such a manner that we're trusting in God, one, we can be confident of two things, that our prayer will be powerful and it will be effective. Now, if our prayer is powerful, as in it's heard in heaven, and our prayer is effective, as in God will respond to our prayer, then we can have joy, we can have confidence, and we can have peace that God is in our situation. Do you see how they, they click together? That even if we're in the midst of trouble, even if we're midst in, of disappointment, even if we've gone to the extent of setting all these things up that we do often in our lives, and then all of a sudden at the last minute, things get pushed back because people need to push things back for various reasons, and things are out of our control, we can either despair, we can even throw our hands up in the air and say, well, you know, uh, how terrible is this? Or we can stop and say, God is good. God is good. I'm going to walk in faith because I'm a person who is righteous, which is what we're all called to be. Sounds like a bit proud to say I'm righteous or, or you're righteous, but that is, you're meant to say, to the best of my ability, I'm doing what I can before God. That is what it is to be righteous. You're not comparing to anybody else. It's saying I'm, I'm doing the best I can. And it is to trust God. And in the meantime, to pray. And as we pray, it's the person who's doing their best, not the person who's perfect, and not the person who's doing what anybody else is doing, but just the person who's doing their best before God, their prayer is powerful and it is effective to bring about what God's will is in that situation. They link, right? So if, if, if the righteous live by faith and the prayer of the righteous is powerful and effective, it means, it, it means we stand even stronger on the goodness and the strength and the love of God. So I'm expecting, because it's been pushed back a couple of weeks, these meetings in, in Tulsa are going to be even better because we have huge numbers of people praying. Everyone's just going to pray a bit longer. And God is going to be sovereign and powerful and the celebration is going to even be greater because it is God at work and I trust and we all trust in the goodness of God, that he will help us reach more people, those mature to help them grow in their relationship with God, those who maybe aren't so sure about God or far from God, to find God and to grow in their relationship with God. You know, the person who lives by faith lives in the confidence of God and not their own confidence. It's amazing. And I pray that today in your life, no matter what you're facing, the circumstances where, like some, for some of you, God may put a big dream in your heart and it scares you. Well, live by faith. Trust in the goodness of God and pray. And as you try and do the best you can in your life, your prayer will be powerful and it will be effective. If you're facing challenges, your prayer will be powerful and effective as you try to do your best. Not perfect, just your best. Loving Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise because you call us to walk by faith. And faith allows us, Lord, to, be, to, to pray prayers that are powerful and effective, meaning that your will will be done. And Father, we make this prayer in the name of Jesus through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, God bless you all, everybody. Let me just remind you, if you think to yourself, I'd love to know more about being a host, go to our website, fill in the form. Our host team will contact you. I need you because we're reaching more and more people and you and I can do it together. Hey, God bless you. See you tomorrow. And don't forget wherever you are, God is never ever far from you.